Artists and Storefronts extends from all, all along the Nicollet Avenue corridor in Whittier, also known as Eat Street, all the way from Franklin Avenue and Nicollet, all the way to 29th between Blaisdell and Nicollet. Within that space we have featuring 25 artists. Basically, I'm a freelance storefront designer myself and I was inspired by Win Young Huey's University Avenue project. And I thought that it would be really fun to do an entire city block of storefront design of my own in a declining area to sort of revitalize those commercial businesses, but also um, to kind of have an urban walking gallery of my own work. Our project is incredibly diverse with the second round. It's much bigger, it's more bombastic. We're featuring way more artists. Um, way more diverse group of artists. We have 11 year old collaborators all the way to Jack Edwards who's got a lifetime achievement of work. We also commissioned a mosaic mural. We commissioned a stencil art mural. We have the pop-up gallery, the pop-up shop. Um, we're featuring artisans and craftsmen, master woodworker, photographers, sculptors, installation artists. So definitely this project is a lot broader and more vast and that's what I hoped it would be so I'm really pleased. I have had an incredible response from the community. I walk along these streets a lot. I mean this is my neighborhood and now not only do I live here but I'm also implementing these large-scale projects all up and down the street. I see firsthand some families, immigrant families, little kids, people who normally wouldn't get into galleries and museums stopping and loving what we're doing. For the artists involved, of course, it's a chance for them to have a public exhibit outside of um, any kind of gallery situation or museum situation, and so they're able to bring their work to a demographic that maybe never goes to see art. I guess I'm really excited about the fact that there's a, a huge demographic of people that don't normally get exposed to this who are just soaking it up and really enjoying it. In the future, um, I would absolutely love to be able to let the project have some legs and um, you know, move out into other neighborhoods um, while staying in my own. It'd be nice to be able to get other interested parties to help me organize because now we really know how to do it and we know how to pull it off and we've got some credibility and a lot of the tools that we need. So it'd be really nice to be able to continue to do this work and expand and involve as many people who want to participate as possible.